Hey YouTube, let's make something cool. Okay, well I got this box of wood slices from the folks over at Arteza, or Arteza. I wish I knew how to exactly pronounce that. Either way, it's still a pretty cool name. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make some nice little something somethings with these wood slices. Okay, so looks like it comes in this big old plastic bag here. As a warning. Keep this bag away from babies and children. All right, no problem there. Let me just pull one of these things out. Hmm. Wow, that smells good. Woo, woodsy. Taking out a couple more here. Got some different kinds. All righty then. Okay, well, let's check some of this out. This, these are really neat. This wood slices. Get 25 in a box, and you can see it has the original bark still on there. Nice, even cuts. Give you a reference, you can see that it's, oh, I don't know, about just wee short of a half an inch. Here's another one, and it's pretty consistent. It's actually, if you look at it through the centimeters, it's 10 centimeters. Pretty much, but about 10 centimeters. See, just stick it in between the four and the five there. Ah, uh, the width, I would say, let's see there. This one's here slightly under four inches there, but then you go this way, it's gonna be a little over four inches that way. So it's, it's an irregular shape because it's actually, you know, you take the tree and you just go chop, 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 right? Okay, so, nice, just different shapes, slightly different shapes as far as you're not going to get pure roundness, but you get pretty close, and it is pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some images on here. Now, it's always a good idea to prep your surfaces before you do anything. Um, I'm not going to sand these because they feel, they feel pretty good. I mean, they're not glass smooth. There's a slight roughness to them, just mildly, probably just from the cutting. Uh, feels really good though. But um, you may want to take a little sandpaper to it. That I leave that up to you, experiment. Now, I'm going to put images on here. And the thing is, is that usually when I put images on something, uh, the images themselves have a transparent background. And so uh, you'll see these rings right here on the wood that is going to show up to your image, through your image. So if you want that, then no big deal. But if you don't, you have to come up with some kind of a plan to uh, give it a little more opaqueness as a background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wipe this out a little bit using white acrylic paint. You can use uh, gesso too, just the same, um, to prepare the surface to be a little more uh, opaque. So what I'm going to do is go grab myself some white acrylic and I'll be right back. Okay, now I got me some white acrylic paint here. It's just some all-purpose acrylic craft paint. Got it at Hobby Lobby. And uh, let's see, I'm, I'm going to do one of these here first. So let me just do this one here. It's slightly lighter than the other ones, too. Okay, so I think this one's dried out more. All right, so probably a good idea to clean it a little bit. I got bark. 
coming off this. All right, let's squeeze a little bit of this uh, white acrylic here. Now I don't want to just paint it so that you know you can't see through it at all but I do want to give it some kind of a background for my image to show through other than having rings showing through my image so that's why I want to put this on here with my foam brush Nice thin coat of paint. Okay, I think that looks pretty good and you can still see some of the lines going through there. It's almost like an onion. All right. Okay, so I prepared the back, or the, I prepared the surface of my uh, wood slice here. I'm going to let that dry. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go find me some images and find something that I think would look really cool on here. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, I, I printed out a couple of larger ones, and this time I just... Figured I'd keep the kid and the kids here and then add some more kid here uh, with a dog. Kind of cool looking. So I think I'm going to go with that. Just trim off some of the excess. I do want something to grab onto when I pull this off. Okay, and right down the middle here. All right, so. Clearly now I have enough room. I'm going to use that one right there because that one looks pretty sharp right off the bat. I'll do the other one later. Okay, now I need to get me some gel medium here. Okay, so I'm just going to use some regular gel medium. This has actually got Blick gel medium in there. I refilled my old Lumen Liquitex container. Uh, it's just because it was cheaper and, you know... I don't want to spend money unnecessarily. So, I'm going to go ahead and just apply this on. It looks like this brush is a little too big for this container here. I've seen better days with this foam brush, but anyway. Just put a little bit of that Liquitex, I mean, or that gel medium. Just put it on there. Hopefully I didn't need to sand this thing. We're going to find out together. I'm going to use my finger here to make sure that I have a nice smooth application because I know what happens when it starts streaking, taking little bits and pieces going across here, then it doesn't give you that good transfer. You end up with streaks across it and stuff. So. I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible, if I can. Okay, I think that might work. Maybe. Alright, I just rub that all over my hand. And I'm going to take this image here. I'm going to plop it down where I think it needs to go. Alright. Ah, I forgot my brayer. Get my brayer. Okay, let's brayer that thing down really good. And as usual, don't want to get any glues or anything on the back of the paper here. Okay, should probably get my timer out. Just to give me a gauge as how long this thing is going to do its thing. Timer. Okay, stopwatch. There we go. All right. Leave that over there. Anyway, 
and just go about there with your brayer and just bray that puppy on there. And use my finger, I'm going to rub because, you know, I didn't sand the surface. So I could feel the surface of the wood it is a little slightly on the rougher side because of the saw cuts. So I'm hoping I'm going to get a good transfer here. This is the first time I've tried this on a wood slice. But I think it would look so cool if I can get those kids transferred onto that little piece of wood. It would look so antique-ish. You know? Alright. So anyway. That's enough time, about a minute there. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Okay, now to do this, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz some water on a sponge. I just kind of spritzed it on the sponge. It's not soaked or anything. It's just got some water spritzed on top. But this is kind of a quick thing. So you just you go like this and you peel. That's all you're supposed to do. Okay, there's no waiting around. Just peel that puppy off. Oh, check that out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There was a... There's a nice full release there too, by the way. So yeah, a little over a minute. That was no big deal. Look at that, man. That was awesome. Wow. I like that. Is that cool or what? Yeah. That was a real antique-ish look to it. Yeah, that's pretty slick. All right, let's try another one. Since we're having fun with that. Okay, so here's the other wood piece that I have, wood slice, Arteza wood slice. And let's see, we're gonna use this one here. Is that big enough to, boom. Yeah. Okay, so let's try that one. Now, what I'm going to try on this one here, this one here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try with no white background and see what it looks like having these little marks go through. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is because this has already a dark background and maybe that dark background will help it, you know, I don't know. Let's, let's just see what it does, right? So again, let's take some of this gel medium here. You know, and I, I, I guess you guys could see how quick this is. This doesn't even take any time at all to do this. But put your gel medium on. with my finger again make sure I got a nice smooth and good application needs a little bit more I could tell it needs a little more the woods kind of soaked a lot of it in that other one there you know pre treating it with that acrylic white paint I thought is a great idea and I was thinking about you know should I put something on there, you know, or just go naked? Well, we're going to go naked on this one, okay? So I'm putting a thin film. You don't want to get too thick because then it won't dry fast enough or it'll just stay way too wet. That's the worst part. Okay, I'm getting all the little bits off of there too. As much as I can. All right. Okay, I think... That should do it. All right. And um, wipe that on my hands for now. Okay. Whew. 
Sure hope I'm getting those, both the kid and the dog in there. And again, you know, you just go and brayer it on. Make sure you get nothing on the back of this paper whatsoever. Oh, forgot my timer thing. Reset, start. Doesn't really matter. I mean, you can just leave it on there if you want. I, I just kind of think it's so cool to watch how fast this thing works with this paper, you know. I've been having a lot of fun with this thing, and I'm glad the folks out there in Arteza land, Arteza, Arteza, that they uh, sent me these wood pieces here. Say, so, yeah, let me try those out. I wanna, I wanna put some transfers on there and see what's going on, you know. So, and of course, like as usual, rub a dub dub, you know. Rub that glue off my hands, but just rub this paper on there. Just just give it good contact into the you know crevices of that wood and stuff. Get it soaked up in there. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's been a minute. That's good enough. I don't want to waste more time. All right, now again, you just want it lightly moistened. Go like that. And then start to peel. Wow! Check that out. Is that cool or what? Whoa. Oh, and there's complete lift off from the paper, the image. Look at that. Wow. Then when this glue finally dries here, then you, you want to spray this thing with some kind of uh, protectant, both of these. Okay, so there you go. And there are the finished products. Is that slick? Wow. You can just do all kinds of stuff. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Um, that's the Arteza 25 wood slices. Go check them out there at uh, Arteza.com. And uh, I believe that's where they are, Arteza.com. Yep. Yep. Sure enough. Okay. And uh, go pick yourself some up of these uh, natural, natural pine wood with bark. And if you're interested in trying out my paper, well, go look in the description area. The paper is available now, so uh, want to go ahead and grab yourself some of that and make these really quick, cool transfers? Hey, I'm behind you. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. Please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. Take a, take a few seconds, please, just a few seconds, and just click that like. Click that like. Those YouTube algorithms really, really like to see those likes. So that would really help my channel. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.